just wish we could get you out of here, Lee Pops. It's breaking my heart. Every day, another contract down the gurgler. It's nice to know you care, Stanley. Then call me Stan, please. The name's Roland. You'll always be Stanley Kratnik to me. Deepol or no Deepol, suits you. I didn't come here to be insulted. No, where do you usually go? Lee. <laughs> Roland Van Dyke. Have you finished? <sighs> I'm here to fill you in on what's happening out there. To let you see what kind of shape we're in. What have you done to your hair? Vegetable oil. Phew. Well, whatever turns you on. Now listen, we've lost the Seabell contract and Magda jewelry. That's this week. And Patuti, uh, threatening to cancel. The pantyhose, remember? I remember. They can always get another pair of legs, can't they? Well, it's great to see you show such concern. There's nothing I can do about it. Oh, no, we're getting wiped off the map. I'm losing dollars hand over fist, and you want to insult me. Look, I'm here today because I care about oh, you, about us. Terrific. Lee, listen. Please, let's try and work something out. Listen, I've got to go back inside. I've got things to do, OK? Lee, listen to me. Look, there's some kind of a fade on tomorrow. I've got to fix my stinking hair. Fade? Goodbye, Stanley. Lee, don't you see? That's perfect. It couldn't be better. There'll be a lot of people here tomorrow, and perhaps we can crack it for a colour spread in Femme Fad magazine. Lee Templer, doing time in style. <laughs> hey, we can have you posing with a few of the toughs. Beauty and the Beasts. No, it couldn't be better. No. no, I said I am not interested, Study. Now go away. Lee, think. Think about it. I about it. What do you think I'm doing in here? I'm sick to death of being treated like a piece of meat by you, by Howard, by everybody. You don't really care about me, do you? It's just dollars per pound of flesh. Well, you're wasting your time and mine. I'm finished with this stinking business. Am I making myself quite clear? Hmm? It's over, Roland. Over. Get yourself another ham steak. Well, that's gratitude. Thanks. Rack off, Roland. Look at him, backstabbing little faggot. Hey, I think I better remind you. No physical contact. Don't worry. I wouldn't dirty my hands. Oh, that's good. I don't have to call on me first aid this early in the day. Pops, I came Drop as quick as I could. Stanley, you better have a bloody good explanation for getting your hands on those porn movies. Me? You, Petal. And don't try denying it, because my sources are very accurate. Okay, so I have them. Just an insurance policy, love, to make sure you do the right thing by our company. We've got to keep those little bickies rolling in, don't we? You stupid little man. I just showed Howard what I thought of his standover tactics. That's why I'm here. You honestly think I'm going to walk straight back into the same setup, don't you? Come on. Well, it's up to you, sugar puss. If you don't want to help keep the company profits up, I may just have to sell a few of your picks to keep us solvent, hmm? You bastard. <laughs> Lee Templer. In the flesh. <laughs> Always was a good draw card. I reckon I'll make a small fortune. Especially if I hawk them around the time of your trial. Throw that creep out. Think about it, Lee Pops. <laughs>